Hi, welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston and for a lot of my regular viewers, today's video will be one you've been anticipating ever since I did an interview back in September with Ivan Galanin, founder of Adipo Skin Care. In it, we talked about the causes of facial fat loss and he shared how he believes that a cream he's created can stimulate facial fat renewal giving us lost volume back. I ordered the cream from his site immediately after that interview and I've been using it for 12 weeks and today is the moment of truth. This is also the review I have spent most time agonizing over because so many people have been asking when it's coming and interested to know if I've seen any changes. Um, some viewers in the comments have even been speculating about whether I might have a fuller face or not. And I just wanted to go to the furthest lengths I could to make sure that the results I share with you today are as evidenced as they can be. So let's take a look now at what happened to my skin when I used Adipose Active Face Cream twice daily for three months. Now, just a reminder, because I've done two interviews with Ivan, which you can check out on this playlist here to give you plenty of background on facial fat loss and the theory and science behind this cream. And for those who haven't heard of, of the product before, uh, there is a link to it in the video description. Quite often I have a discount code available too. In the most simple terms, Ivan believes his research and some related studies that he talked us through in those interviews suggest that lipids or oils in moisturizers, when they're applied abundantly enough to our skin to leave a layer on the top of our skin, that it sinks down our hair follicles and can reach the surrounding subcutaneous fat cells. He believes those lipids can then bloat the fat cells, which sounds good, but his theory is that if left unchecked, that can affect the efficiency of those cells and the health of our skin. He also found that the addition of black ginger root extract, otherwise known as Campheria parfiflora, not an easy one to pronounce, that the black ginger root balances the bloating effect of the lipids. So by combining them, and in his cream, the oil he combines the black ginger root with is safflower oil. He thinks by combining them, you can both stimulate and then regulate fat cell renewal. His theory is that doing this optimizes the function of the fat cells and their ability to communicate with the surrounding cells, the collagen and the elastin. And the result is an increase in their productivity and therefore the volume in our skin. And this, he, he believes, has a cascading effect into the deeper layers of our skin. But is that what actually happens in practice? So in early September, I began using the cream. I applied it twice daily, but I avoided my already oily T-zone because this is an oily cream. So I just focused on the areas where I wanted to improve volume, which is essentially the rest of my face. The idea is that you pat it on, to leave a just visible whitish layer on the skin's surface to allow the oils to sink down the hair follicles and reach those fat cells. In the morning, I washed my face with what I had left of the ferociously expensive but quite fabulous Autour enzyme powder. And then I applied my regular moisturizer to my T-zone and the Adipo cream to the sides of my forehead, temples and cheeks, taking it to just under my mouth. I would leave it for 10 minutes before rubbing off the excess cream with a dry cloth and applying my sunscreen. And that was my morning routine. At night, I would also wash my face, apply my tretinoin cream, which I use pretty minimally, and then I patted on the Adipo cream and I just left it on at night. So that means I wandered around with a great big oily face for the rest of the evening. It's uh, naturally fragrance, which means it's very light on fragrance, but you can smell the cucumber extract in it. Now, the other main ingredients are, of course, the safflower oil, the black ginger root extract, and there's a glycerin base. And if you want to see the full list of ingredients, I will copy and paste it into the video description for you. For me, I felt it was probably the ginger root that caused a tingling sensation when I put the cream on in the earlier days. In the first few weeks, I found that gave me a little irritation in places, especially around my mouth, where I have a lot of sensitivity because of tretinoin, and also 
around my eyes as well. Now that passed, but at this point I should note that I've had a couple of viewers comment that they believe the cream caused them to break out in a rash and they had to stop using it. And my mum, who's 80, was unable to tolerate the cream because it gave her little bumps under her eyes, which went away as soon as she stopped using it. I also felt after a couple of weeks that the oil was causing milia or white bumps on my forehead, which I'm pretty prone to. And I was considering stopping using it on my forehead, but then very oddly, my forehead 12 weeks on is almost completely smooth. So my skin has adjusted and possibly even improved. Nearly three weeks into using Adipo, I took some pictures in the little studio in our house that um, both my husband and I do some voice work. So we have a little dark sound studio at the back of the house with frankly, very nasty lighting. And each week I link up with journalist colleagues virtually to record a podcast. And I have my camera on and I'm always sort of leaning into the mic and between the horrid lighting and the dreadful leaning forward angle, you could see my skin sagging at its very, very worst. So what you're seeing now are possibly some of the least flattering photos you've ever witnessed on YouTube, save for maybe a few criminal mugshots. That is unkind to the criminals. But what you can see is that my fat loss is worst under my cheekbones, causing that drooping around my mouth. As far as my eyelids go, don't even start me. Um, leaning forward and looking down like that is just a really bad look for me. I have um, fat loss around my temples and my uh, my eyes, under my eyes, uh, pretty much generally across the board. And that's happened naturally over time. Remember, I'm just about to turn 50. I have no Botox and no filler in my face. I stopped using all devices in the summer, apart from occasionally using the Zip microcurrent device for the purposes of testing, but not for review. So I've not used it frequently over a period of time. So my face is just in its natural state and I am pretty mortified by these pictures, but I did want to show you the full extent of my volume loss in the worst possible light. And so that was getting me down and I thought a few weeks in that the cream wasn't really cutting it. Then just about a week or so later, so about a month after I started using the Adipo cream, I began wondering if the dark circles under my eyes were actually lessening. They looked better to me and the skin looked fuller. At the same time, I started to get comments from viewers who were also trying the cream, just two or three at that point, but they were saying, the same thing. So I thought at that point, okay, it's possible that something is happening here. From there, I have on and off thought I've seen improvement. One day, um, I'm, I'm thinking it's really obvious. The next, I'm a bit less sure because when I lean forward, there is still some sagging. Now, I was checking in from time to time with fellow YouTuber Claudia Rolnick of the Claudia Glows channel, who said exactly the same thing. Some days she thought there was a difference, other days, she wasn't so sure. And she's gonna be sharing her results on her own channel around the same time as me. So check that out. And um, I don't know what her final verdict is. So it'll be very interesting uh, to see her before and afters and hear what she has to say. I would say when I got to around the eight week point that I did feel that my skin was looking fuller, uh, particularly in that problem area around my mouth. And I didn't have so much of that sagging and dimpling. And so I, I started really growing in confidence about the cream. And then it came to the final comparison where I was able to put the before and after pictures together on a big screen and really scrutinize them. And I mean scrutinize. This is me just a few days ago in the studio. And that's alongside a picture of where I was three months ago. I still have some sagging, but I see more volume. I don't think it's done much of anything on my forehead or temples. If there is any improvement there, it's very slight. Ivan suggested there was no evidence for the cream working on the temples. I do think though um, that especially under my eyes and um, maybe a little bit where the oil has seeped onto the upper lids there at the top, the skin is smoother and there's certainly more volume under the eyes. The darker circles are reduced, but it's around those cheekbones where I see a bigger difference. And it's almost starting to balance out the shape of my face, which was beginning to look a bit gaunt in certain lights and angles. 
with the volume loss. So face on in natural daylight, let's have a look at the before picture taken on the first day of using the cream and a picture taken 12 weeks later. Again, I can see that slightly increased volume under the eyes and the cheeks. And what I would say is if you're trying to treat sagging around your mouth, you need to be treating your entire cheek um, because the sagging around the mouth stems from volume loss right along the cheekbone. So I was taking the cream up to my hairline. Now I have had a couple of people comment that they've been using uh, the cream for a month, six weeks, and they've not seen any difference. And that may well be, it may not help everyone, or it may take a bit longer in some people. I would recommend that you take plenty of pictures if you're using this cream because volume regain is gradual and it's best to be able to compare over a visual timeline. But I have had well over a dozen people comment on the interviews with Ivan and other videos that I've done on fat loss that they are seeing good results with this cream. And mainly I noticed there are people who lost facial fat suddenly, either through a heat-based treatment or through diet. And it's just an observation, but I feel that those viewers who experience sudden or rapid fat loss are a group who appear to be seeing faster results than those of us who maybe experienced a lesser degree of fat loss and over a longer period of time. Now, this cream is $75 for a bottle, and for those of us living in the UK or Europe, it's around $30 for shipping and duties, so it's definitely better to buy a couple of bottles up front, but then that's a big expense. I went through around a bottle every four weeks. Um, I potentially wasn't being as generous as I could have been with the cream, and I don't know if that's limited my results. It's hard to say what the, the absolute right amount is. Obviously, the idea is to build volume up over a period of months and then to use less of the cream. Maybe after that point, you're just looking at patting it on for three or four nights a week and then using a regular moisturizer that you rub in the rest of the time. You know, I'm not clear at the moment what the right maintenance program is for the cream. So I'd like to see more on that from Adipo and I'll report back on that in a follow-up video at six months. So there are many skeptics around this cream and I can understand that it promises so much for a simple formula. But away from what I think are some modest but favorable results for me, I know I will inevitably get comments from people saying they don't see a change in the pictures that I've shared or that I've cooked the lighting somehow. When you take pictures at different times of the year, you can't exactly replicate the natural light. But that's why I've also included those studio shots. I feel there's a change, but my confidence in the potential of this cream comes mainly from my viewers because there have been quite a lot of positive comments so far and particularly from those who needed it most, which really pleases me. There is so much happening in skincare right now. The advances in the use of peptides and growth factors in products are equally helping to boost cell communication and skin health. But for those who have clearly lost fat volume, this is a formula worth trying, I think. I have had a couple of viewers who have said that they couldn't afford to pay $75 a bottle, which is completely understandable, and that they were gonna buy safflower seed oil and black ginger root extract and try to make something themselves. And um, if, if anybody's done that, I would love to hear how you got on. Obviously, Ivan has uh, tried to optimize the effects in his formula through his measurements. And so I am gonna stick with that for now, but we know the active ingredients and so there are options. But if you've been using this cream, this is a perfect forum to share your results and experiences, positive or otherwise. How long have you been using it? Are you seeing a difference? Have you experienced any sensitivity or issues? Let us know because there will be lots of people looking for a range of views and opinions. So I'll keep going with the cream and do an update in another three months time. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.